to me, suffering is when we live in the trance, when we forget who we are. And uh, it's time to wake up. And that's why asking the question, who am I, and beginning that process, to me, the question, who am I, will just begin taking you in, on a journey, on a journey that is really why we're here. You know, when we consider what is my true purpose, we often come up with these great ideas, these great philosophies. My purpose is to save the planet. My purpose is to do this. My purpose is to do that. I like to say that the real purpose of why we're here is to wake up. The real purpose of why we're here is to realize, to remember, to recognize who and what we really are. Uh, to me, this is the real purpose. The real purpose is to surrender to what's living to surrender beyond the separation to what's really living and to allow life itself to, to begin flowing through us, to allow life itself to begin uh, to surrender fully to life itself. And when we do that, you will find yourself tapping into such a vast stream of energy and potentiality that's beyond the mind. Such a vast stream of, of possibility, of, of greatness, true greatness that's beyond the ego, that's beyond anything the mind can even conceive. And as you reconnect with that, it's as though the whole force of nature will, begins, will begin to flow through you. It's as though the whole force of nature will begin to, to, to use you and begin to support you and begin to support the fulfillment of your Dharma on this planet. But the difference will be, it won't be you as a separate self, you as an ego, you as a personality trying to figure out what do I want? What do I need to get? How can I make it happen? What are my goals? It will be more the sense of feeling into what's seeking to happen and feeling life itself beginning to move through you and from that place it won't be you that's doing it it won't be you that's doing it. it if anything it will be life just doing it through you and all the great people whether it's mother teresa whether it's gandhi whether it's martin luther king whether it's mandela whether it's whether it was you know the great gurus the great masters uh, realize this and those things that we might say with our logic should not have been possible to that person became possible because they realized and surrendered to life. They realized who they were, that they were divine, but it wasn't a mental thing. It wasn't a conceptual thing. It was a deep experiential thing that happened for them. And as we do that, that true purpose of life, to remember that, to reconnect with that. Um, miraculous things, magical things will begin to unfold.